Now, welcome back our resident designer, Hamish Dodd. Now, you are wanting people to bring the outside inside. I am. Indoor plants. I mean, we all know they're hugely on trend at the moment. Yeah. Everybody loves indoor plants. Yeah. Uh, I've just got back from Sydney. You who? Oh, I mean, I know, just throw that one yeah. out there. Yeah. Yeah. I've just right. been there for a casual time. Walked around <laughs> everywhere I went with plants. There, there's a building called Central there, which is literally clad in plants. Mm. It's monstrous. But everywhere I went, it was still happening, which means that the trend is not over. So as I like to do, I like to bring a man in. Excellent. And uh, <laughs> today I have Mark Carley, um, who also provided us with the beautiful plants in the set. Welcome, Mark. I can't right. believe all these plants that are here. I thought that they were fake for a while because they've survived so long. So what is the secret? Are we going to learn about how to make them look so good? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's just you know a bit of a conversation around how do you look after plants you know, in your home mm. and you can bring that outside in. Mm. There's a few tips and tricks to make it work inside. Nice, yeah. OK. Because it's all about placement, isn't it? How much, like, how, where do you decide to put things or how do you know when too much is too much? Yeah, sure. I mean, certain plants obviously are going to be more suited to some environments than others. The thing about house plants is there really is a tried and true range of plants that are really suitable indoors yeah. and are tolerant of quite a bit of neglect because what people most often would say is, <laughs> I just kill, they just die, I kill them. Yeah, you know, so well, actually, actually, I was yeah. going to say something then, but you've already just said it for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's, but it's so it is, it's, you know, and sometimes it's killing it with kindness. People think, oh, I've just got to water it. Don't, must water it, must water it. But you can easily overwater an indoor plant. We allocate one person to water, that's me. Right. Anyway, I was wondering. Uh, I'm the only one who's allowed to water the plants. Otherwise, they die. No, because otherwise you end up doubling well, everyone up. Everyone does. Yeah, you know, yeah. you're right. Okay, so, so can you leave them? Like, look, I'm just going to pull this one here because I want to show people something. So you've left this one here don't in the plastic it, don't container. Don't break the plant <laughs> like oh, yeah. 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 So do you leave so, them when you buy them from the shops in them? Totally. Well, I think that's the, probably the first trick of, you know, with plants indoor plants is that um, you have your presentation container that makes it look good inside and also manages the whole water issue and I think you know when you buy a pot plant and you just stick it in a little plastic saucer it just looks like a pot plant that's been plonked there yeah. but from a design point of view if you've got it in a container you, you sort of bring it into you your environment into your house and sort of yeah. so it fits in with your design style should you ever take the plants and leave them outside Ooh, for a bit yes good question I, I think um, sometimes that's not even not practical or necessary you can sometimes if plants are overfed, then they get a build up in the um, in the soil. So you want to give them a good flushing out, you know, lots of water. But generally, plants can be really happy in a corner just doing their thing. All you might do is you know turn it around so it's getting the light on the different side. Yeah. What's the most popular indoor plant? If you had to name one, well, it's a tough. I think right now you've got the big um, big sort of the banana palm leaf sort of in indoor plant. They're just really popular from a you know how they look. They're a oh, great yeah. feature yeah. plant. You know, through all time, you know, it's a palm. You know, like a kentia palm, kind of goes goes anywhere. Palms are gorgeous. Yeah, What's yeah. this one called here? It's got um, that's a scandapsis. So they're really popular, and as a trailing plant, mm. they're uh, really effective because they, you know, you get a lot of plant in a really small container. And what's and this on the top here? Is that have you done that? Yeah, so that's that's um, sphagnum moss. That's quite a good tip. Yeah. If you've got a plant, let's say you get a container, and it could be anything that you. You know, like a paint bucket or a, you know, anything that suits you, or you know, it's a china bowl. If you put a bit of sphagnum moss in the bottom and then put the growing pot, yeah, there, that just helps retain and soak the moisture. So it also prevents it from actually sitting in, you know, being overwatered, but also helps with the right. Because it takes it up off yeah. the bottom. Yeah. How, do you, how do you clean them? Clean the, How do you clean a plant? Yeah, plants. which is why I take mine outside sometimes. And I'm like, I'll let the rain, the rain do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Rain do it. Yeah. And a water and dust it? Yeah, just water, you know, uh, um, a cloth. There is a, like a leaf polish or a leaf shine, oh, yeah. just an yeah. aerosol spray, and then just give that a wipe and it just keeps it kind of that glossy leaf. Or you could just leave well. them and they go for the utter neglect log. Now I've got a question for you. You obviously hire plants out, obviously mostly to businesses and things. Yep. Do you do private homes? Yeah, a little bit for those for the desperate, you know. So say, cases. say for instance, your mum was coming to stay with you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you'd killed off all the plants she'd given you. You could Just maybe quickly. sort something yeah, yeah. out. Yeah. I need okay. one that looks like this. Okay, <laughs> I need one that looks like that. Yeah. Good to know. <laughs>